Hey folks, welcome back to the Off-Grid Workshop. My name is Nigel. This week in the workshop, we've got a Cartago C-Line tag axle on a Sprinter chassis, and I thought I would take you through what we've done on this. So we actually put the main install into this van almost a year ago, uh, sort of the start of last summer, and customers just come back for some more upgrades. So we've maxed out the solar on this roof. Uh, we've done the solar dump thing that we've started doing now for the Multi Plus 3, where when you reach a certain percentage, it uh, starts uh, outputting on the ACR2 port on the MultiPlus, which means that you can run things like your fridge or your heating or whatever on that. So it's uh, quite a nice thing uh, to have. And then we've done a few other bits and pieces, just small uh, little upgrades and changes uh, to the system. So let me take you through it. And also, the one of the main things actually is when we initially did the install, we put two Fogstar 280 amp hour batteries in here. And uh, we've just put in another two. So he's got over a thousand amp hours of lithium capacity. Uh, completely forgot about that. But yeah, that's the, actually the main thing that we've done on this, which is quite impressive. But let me take you through it. Okay. So this is the main install that we put in last year. So solar, servo, multi plus. Uh, Lynx distributor and then today what we've done is we took out his old uh, CBE chargers that were up there and we've replaced them with a RCBO for the ACR2 feed and then we've also put in the two MPPTs for additional solar so we maxed out as much solar on the roof as we could so we've put, got them in different strings running off their own MPPTs and then obviously he had an Orion XS last year as well it was one of the first ones that we fitted uh, right when they first came out last year so yeah that's the initial install uh we've got a couple of batteries in here so they're going down to bus bars and then a 95 millimeter cable going up to the victron so i had to put one at a bit of a diagonal just to fit it in because of where the electric hookup port is on the other side there's no, not enough space to have it uh sort of perpendicular or at a right angle like that so we had to put it in uh at a at a diagonal like that as well. We originally had a uh, ply base that we'd made that could use the old holes from the Katago factory where the original battery plate was. We've since taken that out and then we've replaced it with one of the Fogstar bases that they've uh, just recently started making and selling. So yeah, that's the first two batteries in there. And the next two batteries are in here. Uh, we laid them down on their side. They just fit under here, but the trouble is once you put an MRB a fuse on it, it's going to be proud of this edge. And the customer asked us to uh, make this, uh, make them as flat as possible so that he could just put a, a, a board in here and just close this off so he can use this wardrobe. Uh, so that's why we did that, was so that uh, we took up as little room as possible. And this was just really dead space anyway. Uh, so we've squeezed those in there. So four 280 amp hour Fogstar batteries. And solar isolators for each of the strings. And here is the solar array. So these two big panels at the back here are Victron 185 watt panels. So we took off two smaller panels. I think they were 120s or something like that. And uh, used the space where they were for these two bigger panels. Then we've got five 30 watt panels. So one, two, three, four, five there, uh, filling up all the gaps in between the skylights, uh, satellite dish, all that sort of stuff. And then two 90 watt panels at the front over there. So kind of maxing out as much solar as we can fit in this van. And uh, yeah, it gives them a total of, uh, what's that? Probably 500-ish watts of solar, something like that. So pretty good setup for the size van and how busy the roof is here with uh, the internet, aircon, skylights, uh, all that sort of stuff, and a satellite as well. So yeah, lots going on on this roof, but we've maxed out it pretty much as much as we could fit on here. And of course, all of that going into the servo. So we've currently got it plugged in. Uh, the ch MultiPlus is on a flow charge. And if we actually go into that, you can see AC in uh, over there, AC out, uh, and it's busy outputting for the fridge there. And that's that there is going out on the AC out port. So, um, sorry, ACR2 port. So we can see that that relay with the solar dump is working. So we've got the settings slightly different on this in that the fridge will be supplied when the batteries are 50% state of charge or more. If the batteries drop below 50%, then it turns off. So 
there we go. If we were to let this drop down, uh, we would see that turn off and it would stop supplying the fridge and the fridge on the automatic changeover would then go to gas. So yeah, pretty pleased with that. If we go to the solar, you can see the different arrays there. So that's the two 185s uh, and then these two are the two new uh, sets that we've put up today. And uh, obviously they're only showing a voltage of 13 volts, but that's because we're inside. So effectively, um, as far as the panels are concerned, it's dark and there's no sun. So if we, as soon as we drive outside, you'd see the voltage would uh, go up on all of those panels. So there we have it, folks. Full system. Pretty pleased with how that turned out. Uh, it's good to see customers back as well for a few upgrades and stuff like that. And uh, for us to just sense check everything and pretty happy with how the system worked. Uh, we've changed things slightly in that we put an MRBF on each of the batteries and uh, using those bus bars, whereas before the MultiPlus went straight to the batteries. So swap things around there a little bit. Uh, but now that we've got four batteries, we've distributed that out a little bit. But yeah, please with it. If you're interested in getting something similar in your van or have any questions for us, then get in touch. Otherwise, we'll uh, keep putting out installs like this, keeping these on the channel if you're interested in seeing them, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.